program director, thank you for the introduction. What I will do is today I will quickly touch on uh, integrated security solutions at Henzold and uh, talk a little about, about Henzold South Africa. Henzold South Africa forms part of the largest group and consists out of uh, three businesses units in South Africa. Henzold South Africa is the biggest industrial base of the Henzold group outside of Europe. From South Africa, um, Hensel South Africa exports to more than 40 countries around the world. With five local sites in South Africa, we employ more than 700 people and is proud of our more than 55 years of heritage. Hensel South Africa focuses mainly on electronic warfare, uh, integrated security solutions, spectrum management, airborne and maritime optronics, as well as radar and IFF. From all of these, components are used in our integrated security solutions. As part of our integrated security solutions, I will touch on the following items today. Land border and critical infrastructure security solutions, wildlife security solutions, counter UAV security solutions, as well as airborne and maritime surveillance solutions. South Africa has a quite unique borderline with approximately 2,800 kilometers of coastline and 4,800 kilometers of land border. With a very diverse landscape, this poses an immense challenge for the Border Management Authority to secure the border. In order to secure a border, you need to focus on two basic things, and that is detection as well as reaction. From our Zimbabwe COVID fence, it was clear that you can have a good fence, but if you cannot detect a crossing, you cannot react in time, and that will render the best equipment useless. The Border Management Authority will now focus on the integration of the different entities involved in the border security. The expectation is that the Border Management Authority will be a united and focused organization with a formid formidable force on the ground to react. As part of the South African industry, Henzel South Africa can do the detection. Henzel South Africa offers a unique sensors, systems, as well as integrated solutions, designed and integrated by Africa for Africa. When we look at the border, the physical borderline focus on three things to prevent free movement of harmful and infectious diseases, to prevent undocumented border crossings, and to prevent contraband and trafficking of illicit goods. In order to simplify it, we have divided the border into three zones. Henzelt offers sensors and tailored solutions for each of these different zones. The first zone is the perimeter zone, and that covers a couple of meters around the border. The second zone, is a buffer zone and that constitutes of the first couple of kilometers around the border. The third zone is the early warning zone and that covers up to 100 kilometers around the border. Sensors cover not only the prevention of incoming threats but also outgoing threats. For example, stolen vehicles and known trafficking syndicates can be detected with technologies such as license plate recognition together with powerful artificial intelligence algorithms to provide an early warning that threats are approaching the borderline. All of the sensors are fully integrated and linked into a national command center that allows for remote monitoring, detection and analysis. With state-of-the-art command and control software, the user gets a clear map-centric view of its complete system. On the perimeter, we offer physical perimeter fence line, jersey barriers, smart fence sensors, static and PTZ cameras, thermal cameras, as well as long range in the fence energizers with accurate detection. In the buffer zone, we offer short range ground surveillance radar, medium and long range ground surveillance radar, passive radar, as well as dedicated coastal and river radar. Together with this, we also supply counter UAV systems, communication interception systems, as well as IMSI catcher and cell phone interception systems. 
We also offer sm small, uh, short range in UAVs, medium endurance UAVs, um, long range PTZ cameras, as well as extreme long range PTZ cameras. In the early warning zone, we offer airborne observation systems, airborne equipment systems, as well as artificial intellig intelligence algorithms. Included uh, in that is also license plate recognition. All of that focus on a command and control software suite that gives you a map centric display of what's going on. And that includes software packages such as Sky Vision, Quimint, Data Fusion, CXI, and Assess. Hensolt also offers wildlife security solutions. At Hensolt, Investing in the environment is one of our corporate responsibility initiatives in which we take great pride. With Hensel South Africa being a high-tech product manufacturer in Africa, it allows us to help protect our wildlife on our continent. Our sensors have detected multiple poachers again and again and again. Together with all of the people on the ground, we help to preserve our heritage for the next generation to come. Technical solutions include fixed surveillance systems, unconventional camera systems, license plate recognition, trap cameras, drone systems, with all of this integrated on a map-centric user interface, making use of advanced artificial intelligence algorithms. Hensolt also offers counter UAV security systems. Uh, Expeller is an adaptable solution to protect vulnerable and sensitive sites from UAV threats. Hensel technology enables sensitive sites like airports, sports stadiums, and industrial operations to match solutions to their exact requirement. Our expeller solution consists out of wearable counter UAV solutions with directional and omnidirectional antennas known as expeller gear, mobile counter UAV solutions known as expeller rapid, and static counter UAV solutions known as Expeller Guard. Hensolt also offers a unique set of airborne and maritime surveillance solutions. With this, I will hand over to Mr. Gerry van der Merwe for an expert view on our solutions. Thank you, Werner, for the introduction. Good morning, everyone. My name is Gary van Merwe. I'm a business development manager at Ensolt Optronics. I will focus on aerial surveillance for border and maritime patrol, highlighting some requirements and challenges. Addressing a virtual audience like this really feels like me, myself and I. Ironically, the I is not referring to me, but rather to instantaneous image and information. When digital cameras took over from analog during the early 90s, the biggest advantage was not better resolution, but rather the instantaneous availability. Just ask today's teenagers. Looking at surveillance systems, these three aspects are core. Being able to have an instant image of the area of concern and then extracting the necessary and important information in real time. The four missions of airborne and maritime surveillance is to cover the area, provide observation and monitoring, extracting the information and initiate action if necessary. The execution of these missions are performed by aerial platforms, image processing and an integrated command control system. The following slides will add a little bit more detail to each of these roles. Airborne platforms may range from medium to high altitude UAVs, optional piloted vehicles and more traditionally the fixed and rotary wing platforms. The less common platform is the aerostat. It may provide 24-7 aerial coverage of certain hotspot areas. These platforms carry the eyes, being the electro-optical and radar sensors. South Africa has roughly 7,500 kilometers of border. This is impossible to monitor 24-7, and the focus should rather be on the known areas of concern. The typical threats experienced at the borders are criminal acts, technical violation of domestic laws, organized crime, terrorist threats, human trafficking, smuggling and transportation of stolen vehicles and goods. Then the maritime borders also face the protection of natural resources and countering pirate activities. 
Having a border fence without monitoring is providing a gateway for destruction and illegal crossings. Typical maritime surveillance is conducted at normally 1500 feet. With the sensors available today in South Africa, radar detection and SAR imaging are available at distances up to the horizon. Electro-optical day and thermal images can detect the small vessel beyond 26 kilometers providing an area coverage of more than 620 nautical square miles. That's from the air. Supplied by Henselt, these sensors are today in service in South Africa and offering a long stand of optical range. Radar technology enables the aerial platform to detect at long range possible moving objects, both on land as well as maritime surfaces. Synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, functions can be supported amongst other also ship's classification. Various integrated options are available, such as the Airborne Technology SCAR pod, here integrated on the Twin Otter aircraft. Multi-role and multi-missions. There is no single solution that fits all mission requirements. The Argos 2 electro-optical system is a good all-rounder, used today in various applications, such as maritime patrol, search and rescue, border surveillance, law enforcement, environmental protection, and as well as armed reconnaissance. The use of six configurable sensors in the Argos 2 allows for optimized performance during aerial surveillance. Coding the frequency spectrum are visible, low light, near infrared, short wave infrared, and medium wave infrared in HD resolution enable sensor blending to extract the maximum information from the image. Full day and night operation, tracking of moving targets, geo-targeting and geolocation should be at the fingertips of the operator. This also includes the enhancement for number plate reading. Observing a vessel at 29 kilometers or detecting people at 9 km by night offers long stand of operation to see without being seen. This was an image taken during a recent operation in Gruger National Park, observing people walking on the ground close to 9 kilometers. Image processing in real time on board the camera can be available and must be available to enhance features and contents the normal eye is not trained to spot. Successful detection is in many cases to identify the inconsistencies in the image. Various techniques such as blending, fusion, haze penetration and CD colors are available and adequate processing power is needed for doing this in real time. Moving to the integrated command control requirement. Integration with mapping systems, sharing of images and information extracted from the target is key to the success of an aerial surveillance system. Moving target indicators, tracking of multiple targets and close-up verification are only some of the functions and capabilities needed. Observing a target simultaneously with different sensors provides also full flexibility in any scenario. Whether this integration happens on the platform or at the ground station, real-time extraction and sharing of the information behind the picture is needed for accurate positioning, direction of movement, number and size of the target, all are important characteristics needed for the interpretation. Downlink supporting the command and control system must further be able to accommodate this high resolution video. These are some examples of aerial platforms on which Henselt already successfully integrated the Argos 2 EOS. These are now in service, covering the full range of UAVs, optional pilot vehicles, fixed and rotary wing aircraft. Henselt South Africa is not only a proud South African entity, but can be supported by various local partners offering solutions and services at different supply levels to the local end user. That concludes my brief overview of the airborne surveillance in support of monitoring our borders. Thank you very much.